I'm going to call you oh straight gosh. back. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the podcast. Oh my gosh. Would you please shut up? I'm trying to pull off the biggest business deal of my life, and I have to listen to this? You know, it's your fault. You're the one who spends us into trouble and expects me to get us out of it. What am I? A flaming escapologist? <laughs> Thank you. 
asset. Good hands are good brain. Now, the secret to my success in business. Secret. Yes, yes, son. The secret to my success in business is this. Oil of violet hair tonic for men. Stand back, son. The old man's going to work. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff, all right. That's where it is. Oh, that's the bananas right there. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, now, a man in business simply cannot fail to get noticed when he looks like this. Secret. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Your hair, it, it's green. Good Lord, woman, you've started already. It's not even 8.30. <laughs> Take a look at this. How do you open this thing? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. My hair's green. Uh, well, what on earth you do that for? Why do you want your hair green and you love cotton? I, I didn't want green hair. I didn't do anything. Maybe you used some of Mummy's peroxide by mistake. That's exactly what you've done, you stupid man! My hair. My lovely locks. <laughs> oh, no. I've got my business deal with the Russians today. What am I going to do? I know. I know what you can do. What? What is it? What can I do? You can pretend you're an elf. That would work. <laughs> I can pretend I'm an elf. What are you talking about, you fool? This boy is a loony. Come on, Michael. Oh, no. Mum, would you like to hear a story? Don't be disgusting! Go on, read back to the little library or something. The sooner you're locked in school, the better. Thank you. 
Sally, slipping her hand into his. It is where the loneliness of life has led us.
2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 11 is 22, 2 times 12 is 24. Well, my word, that is very young. 13 times 2 is 26, 14 times 2 is 28, 15 times 2 is 30, 16 times 2 is... Stop, stop! Good heavens! How far can you go? I don't know. Quite a long way, I think. Do you think you could tell me what 2 times 28 is? 84. Oh, eight. Well, yes, that's very young. How about this? Now, this is much harder, so don't worry if you don't get it, but... 2 times 487. If you took your time... 974. <gasps> How'd you do that? No 12 sevens. 84. What? Uh, you dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's save maths for the time being and look at reading. Uh, can anyone read this? Me, 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 I had you. Very well, Nigel.
is the school motto, Miss Honey. Bambi Notum S. Magita. Bambi Notum S. Magita. Children are maggots. <laughs> that, it must have been her who put that stink bomb under my desk this morning. I'll have them for that. Thank you for suggesting it. Oh, but I did it. Miss Trudgeball, Matilda Wormwood is a genius. Nonsense. Yeah, and I just told you she's a gangster. She knows some nice tables. So she's learned a few tricks. But she can read. So they can I. <laughs> I have to tell you, Miss Trunchbull, that in my opinion, this little girl should be placed in the whole floor with the 11 year olds. Oh, don't tell me we're not rich. It's the mileage. 
they took one look at the mileage and they said, He's causing that one. I told them, the mileage is just a manufacturing mistake, that's all. Is that true? Of course it's not true. So you lied? Of course I lied. And they didn't believe you? Of course they didn't believe me. I have green hair. <laughs> And what's this? Another flaming book? What's wrong with it, Teddy? She's got no respect, that one. It's all books and stories. Oh, no, it's a lovely book, Honest. You should read it. Lovely. Should... He's like, think you're lovely. What? No. Oh, it's from the library. It's a library book. You go on, you shut the little brat. Now get out of here, you stinky worm. Dad, do we have any super glue? In the cupboard. While you're at it, <laughs> why don't you stick your stupid little book to your stupid little head? <laughs> <laughs> Now! I don't have a place. That's okay. It's okay, girl. Right. 
see. Girls should be worried about makeup and, and hair dye. Looks are more important than books, you know. Now, now, let's look at you and let's look at me. <laughs> you chose books. I chose looks. <laughs>
magic to Jenny, to sketch on your feet, Jenny. You are going to march in there and give them a piece of your mind. Leave it alone, Jenny. The more that you try, the more you'll just look like a fool. This is not your problem. You've not got the spine.
speak to you, please? I'm afraid I have not been too successful in getting others to recognize your abilities. So, starting tomorrow, I shall bring a selection of very clever books that will challenge your mind. You may sit and read them while I teach the others, and if you have any questions, well, I shall do my best to answer them. How does that sound? Matilda! Why? That is the biggest hug in the world! You go into the air out of me! Matilda Wentworth! Matilda Wentworth! Yes! Where is? Yes, Miss Trunchbull! Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit it, didn't you? Admit what, Miss Trunchbull? Miss Bull. This fell her bumble. This member of the mafia snuck like a stand in here to the kitchen this morning and stole a piece of my private chocolate cake. No, I did not! Miss Trunchbull, Matilda's been here all morning. Yes. Standing up for the little spitball, are you? Well, I can tell you that the crime took place early this morning before school started. So therefore, she is guilty. Okay, look, all right, I stole the cake. And honestly, I was definitely, no, sort of, uh, almost in bowing up. Maybe, but the thing was, I was having a lot of trouble with my belly. You see, the Trunchbull's cake was so good, mwah, that I had scoffed it down too quick, and now I was beginning to fight back. Oops, see? I'm not guilty, I didn't do anything! You are guilty because you were a thief, you were a crook, you were a thief, and I shall crush you, I shall pound you, I shall, I shall consign you. Circle of hell, child. You shall be. You shall be destroyed. <laughs> it was the biggest burp I'd ever done. It was the biggest burp I'd ever heard. It was the biggest burp I'd ever heard about. It was like the entire world went silent for that burp to exist as a huge cloud of chocolate gas. Wanted from my mouth and drifted across the glass. Past Lavender, past Alice, past Matilda, and now my great big chocolatey burp, which now seemed to have a mind of its own, wafted full into the face of the trunch bowl. <laughs>
watching this, to go home and try these things out for themselves. I am, of course, talking about... Oh, reading books! <laughs> ah, it is normal for kids to behave in this fashion. It stunts the brain, wears out the eyes, makes kids ugly, stinky, fatty, sweaty, messy, boring, gaseous. And crucially, it gives them warts. <laughs> On the mind. <laughs> now, under no circumstances do we condone such activities, and we do so without reservoirs. <laughs> Turn the house lights on so I can see these nimwits. <laughs> can I ask, how many people here have read a book? <laughs> What is your name? What? Jackie? <laughs> Jackie. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Bookworm, bookworm, sticky it a bookworm, read all your books like slip it's worm, you read books like a worm, we read books, worms are stupid, you're a... Swam! Probably keep reading books. 
But she'll never raise her hand up in an auditorium again. <laughs> now may I present to you the very pinnacle of our achievements as a species. And the very reason we evolved out of unicorns in the first place. Somewhere on a show I heard that our picture tells a thousand words. So tell me if you bother to take a look. Is the equivalent like <gasps> lots of books? All I know I learned from telly these big beautiful books and facts. If you know a thing already, baby, channel over just like that. Endless joy and endless laughter, folks living happily ever after. All you need to make you watch is make three minutes plus hours. So I think why would we waste your energy? Turn in the pages, one, two, three. And we can sit comfortably on a lovely bump, please watch people singing and talking and doing stuff. Oh, I know I learned from Sally. The bigger the Sally, the smarter the man. You can tell from my big Sally. Just how clever of a better I am. See the way it's done.
be tall enough to reach the branches that I need to reach to climb the trees. You get to climb when you're grown up. And when I grow up, I will be smart enough to answer all the questions that you need to know the answers to before you're grown up. Go square, and I won't care, cause I'll be all grown up when I grow up. When I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, I will be strong enough to carry all the happy things you have. Slowly, very slowly, the act that man, her shiny white star. 
she would hug all the air out of him. And so they prepared themselves for the most dangerous feat ever known to men. The great Escapolis had to escape from the cage, lean out, catch his wife with one hand, grab the fire extinguisher with the other, and put out the flames on the specially designed dress before the flames reached the dune of the dynamite and blew his wife's head off! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't even think they were. 
Russians are uh, nocturnal. I saw it on the program last night. <laughs> Mom, that was badgers. It was a program about badgers. Same thing. Anyways, did it work?
There is an age for reading and an age for being a filthy little toad. These are toads. Aren't you both trotter? Yes, Miss Trumpet. And we both trotter here is a good toad. Sit. It has become clear to me, honey, and that you have no idea what you are doing. You believe in kindness and madness and books in story. That is not teaching. <coughs> to teach the child, you must first break the child. Thank you. 
Just that still sort of quiet Like the sound of a page being turned in a book Or a post in a walk in the woods Quiet Like silence but not really silent Just a nice kind of quiet Like the sound when you lie upside down in your bed Just the sound of your heart in your head And know the people Yes. 
Young. Magnus was his name. He was very kind. But when he was gone, my aunt became my legal guardian. She was mean and cruel like you could hardly imagine. And when I got my job as a teacher, she presented me with a bill for looking after me all those years. She'd written everything down. Every tea bag, every electricity bill, every tin of beans. She made me sign a contract to pay her back every penny. She even produced a document that said my father had given her his entire house. But did he really do that? Magnus, I mean. Did he really just give her his whole house? I don't know. But I find it hard to believe. Just like I cannot believe that he would have killed himself. Which is what she said happened. You, you think... You think she did it in, don't you, Miss Annie? I can't say that I know, Matilda. All I know is that years of being bullied by that woman made me well. Pathetic. I was trapped. And that's why you live here. This roof keeps me dry with the rain of falls. This door helps to keep the cold at bay. On this floor I can stand on my own two feet. Yeah. 
I got it wrong too. You're going to put me in Tokyo as well. Excuse me. Your breath stinks. <laughs> Go. D. Y. P. Dog. Stop this instant. Table. X A V F Y.
smart people. Their thinking is all backwards. Oh my God!
and we would just like to say thank you very much for all your generous contributions. All of the money is going to be going towards the senior scholarships and handed out to our seniors that just bowed for you on stage. So the total tonight is $5,254. Make sure you grab your trays and stuff. Thank you so much. Have a good night.